Yanking their hands from the roomy opposite sleeves of their robes, the hooded members of the Order made sidelong throwing motions which sent dozens of decapitator discs screaming through the air. Munes to both sides of Plagueis fell to their knees, their last breaths caught in their throats. A disc buried deep in his forehead, one of the sun guards twirled in front of Plagueis like a crazed marionette. Blood fountained, turning to mist. Struck in at least three places and leaking lubricant, 114D was trying to limp to Plagueis' side when another disc whirled into its alloy body, touching off a storm of sparks and smoke. Plagueis pressed his right hand to the right side of his neck to discover that a disc had made off with a considerable hunk of his jawbone and neck and in its cruel passing had severed his trachea and several blood vessels. He cupped the force against the injury to keep himself from lapsing into unconsciousness, but he fell to the floor regardless with blood pumping onto the already slick stone circle. Around him slanted in its faltering vision, the assassins had drawn vibroblades from the other sleeves of the robes and were beginning a methodical advance on a few mutants who were still standing. A hail of bolts streaked from the blaster cradled in the arms of the remaining sun guard, sweeping half a dozen hooded beings off the rim of the circle before he himself was butchered. Tricked, Plagueis thought, as pained by the realization as he was by the wound, outmaneuvered by a group of inferior beings who at least had had sense enough to place artfulness above arrogance. Subscribe and follow for more Star Wars content.